know you want my loving baby Got me twisted over you Run that intro Yo, I just want to send a couple shout outs to a couple YouTubers I follow. Yo, go check out their content. They really put out amazing content. I feel like you guys would love their content. First, I just want to give a shout out to my girl AD Family Vlog, also known as Miss May425. Yo, go check out her YouTube. Go check out her TikTok. She does funny skits, amazing skits, and also put out amazing quality of content. And also check out my boy, Rich Man Z. We've done numerous, numerous, numerous collaboration videos. We've done great, dope videos together. I've been on his platform. He's been on my platform and he does travel videos, he does motivation videos, he also does reviews just like me, he puts out great content, so go check out their content because they really deserve it, and, and I hope you guys see this, and this is all love coming from your boy, your girlfriend's favorite YouTuber himself, GQ Jamal. What up y'all? Welcome back to another episode of GQTV and I am your boy, the one and only, yours truly, your girlfriend's favorite YouTuber himself, GQ Jamal. And this is where we review, pay homage, and just talk about shows and movies from both past and present. And as always, in every video I do, record, put out, I just want to say thank you. Thank you again for tuning in by watching this video, y'all. I really appreciate it a lot. Yo, go check out my YouTube channel right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is GQ Jamal. Hit that notification bell. Like my page. Go check out my reviews, check out my reactions, check out every video I put out, show some love, leave some comments, I really appreciate it if you do. Now we're going to compare two movies in one, that's right, we're going to compare two movies in one. Without further ado, let's run those clips. Your style is generic. Mine's authentic made. I roll like a renegade. You need... What's wrong? The voice don't sound the same. It's better. Yeah, that's right. Today we're going to talk about these two films right here. 8 Mile starring Eminem and Get Rich or Die Trying starring 50 Cent Curtis Jackson. Hi, my name is what? My name is who? My name is Eric, Eric Slim Shady. I just wanna chill and twist a lot. Catch stunts on my sand or the back. You drive me crazy, shorty. I. So, 8 Mile and Get Rich or Die Trying. Two of the most solid movies from the 2000s. From two superstars that dominated the rap scene in the early to mid 2000s. We're going to see what movie, which movie was better, 8 Mile or Get Rich or Die Trying. We're going to, we're going to see what I think was the better movie from those two. We're going to get into that in just a minute or two. Yeah man, for those who haven't watched 8 Mile, this movie takes place in Detroit. Eminem is the star of the movie. He plays Beat Rabbit, Beat Rabbit, Beat Rabbit. 313, Free World, 313, Free World. Eminem, he plays Jimmy, he plays B Rabbit. 
um, Jimmy is a inspiring rapper. He wants to be a rapper. He's really talented. He's really talented. So in the beginning, we see Jimmy getting ready for his battle rap, the rap battle. He starts to get nervous. He's in the bathroom, like trying to get himself together. He throws up. And when he gets ready for the battle, everyone was like eyeballing him and just me mugging the hell out of him. <laughs> then once he starts doing his rap battle, he chokes. He chokes, man. He chokes. He starts to lose his confidence. He's the laughing stock of the town. Everyone's like clowning on him. So throughout the movie, he just searches for his confidence and his friends um, supports him and tries to get him to rap and do this rap battle. So that's, that's pretty much what 8 Miles is about. So he moves back to the trailer park with his mom and his little sister. I thought that was his daughter in the movie. I thought that was his daughter in the movie. According to Wikipedia, that was his little sister. So I'm all the way confused. But anyway, so he moves back to the trailer park with his mom. Not even 10 minutes, maybe 10 or 15 minutes of the movie, we see his mom getting in with one of his old classmates. His mom like butt naked, like just getting in and stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> that's why I had to look at the deck with the first 15 minutes of the movie. So, so he's embarrassed about moving back home to the trailer park. He don't want anybody to know that he's living with his mom. But Kai Pfeiffer, he's in the movie too. He was in Soul Food and Paid in Full. He plays Jimmy's best friend. B-Rabbit's best friend. The right hand man. He encouraged B-Rabbit to perform at the shelter. The shelters where all the rap battles and stuff are taking place. So he, throughout the movie, like he encouraged B Rabbit to do the battle. He pressures him to do the battle. B Rabbit doesn't want to do it. But at the end of the movie, he ends up doing it. Brittany Murphy, she's the thought in the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. She's the thought in the movie. She plays Alex. She's the she's the type of character that's just waiting for a come up. She tries to like get in good with Jimmy. She's Jimmy's love interest. Jimmy and Alex, they have sex at Jimmy's job. And she acts like she act like she's all into Jimmy, but ends up screwing one of Jimmy's friends. Well so-called friends. Anthony Mackie, he's also in the movie. He's the villain of the movie. He's the villain. Arch nemesis. He's he's the villain of the movie. So he plays Papa Doc. His his real name is Clarence, and Clarence's parents have a real good marriage. Papa Doc. He's the rapper. He battles Jimmy in the in the final battle at the end of the movie. Jimmy smokes him. Jimmy smokes him. Makes Papa Doc look like a whole out here. So, Jimmy um, wins the match at the end of the movie. Jimmy has bragging rights now. So, that's what 8 Mile is about. So, in Get Rich or Die Trying, 50 Cent is the star of the movie. This is based on 50 Cent's life. And before the movie, there was Get Rich or Die Trying, the album, one of the best hip-hop albums in the 2000s one of my favorite 2000s hip-hop album but 50 Cent he's a star of the movie he plays young Caesar he plays Marcus 
Marcus, he really has a strong bond with his mom. He lives with his mom. But his mom is in the street life, drug life. Marcus's mom always drops him off with his grandmother and grandpa. While his mom goes out and does what she does in the street. So one day, Marcus's mom ends up dead by Majestic. That's Marcus's street mentor. So Majestic takes Marcus under his wing, teaches him like how to make it in the streets. So they end up selling drugs together. They like form like a clique. They end up like selling drugs to the streets. Marcus, he he's like really into that kind of stuff now. And but his his dream is to become a rapper as well. And then Marcus Marcus he forms his own clique. Some of the people in this clique are shady as hell. Sets Marcus Marcus up a failure. Marcus ends up going to jail. Then he turns his life around and becomes a rapper. And he really wants to start um doing good things now. So Marcus is like caught up in the street life. Then He's reunited with his childhood friend, Charlene, his love interest. You know, they get together, you know, they end up getting a child together. Then Majestic, Majestic wants to like, just make Marcus's like, life a living hell when Marcus tells Majestic like, yo, I don't want to be a part of the street life anymore after Marcus um, gets out of jail. So Majestic starts making Marcus's life a living hell. Then at the end of the movie, Marcus has a concert. Majestic tries to stop that. Then at the end of the movie, he tells Marcus that he killed his mom. Then Marcus retaliates. But then Terrence Howard, he's in this movie too. He he meets Marcus in jail. So he's like Marcus is like positive role model. So so he tells Marcus like, "Yo, go do your concert. Go do your concert." Then Majestic tries to kill Marcus. He tries to stab Marcus. Then Terrence Howard's character like shoots him multiple times and ends up killing Majestic. And so that's what Get Rich or Die Crimes about. So Eight Mile came out in 2002, and Get Rich or Die Trying came out in 2005. When I first watched 8 Mile, I was like 11 or 12 years old. I remember my cousins, they had the DVD. I remember watching it from beginning to end. This movie was fire. Jimmy, man. Jimmy went through it all. I really loved Eminem's character in this movie because he went from, from the bottom to the top. He went through it all from getting beat up, being the laughing stock of the town, and he still came up on top, man. Like, I really appreciate that character. Some of my favorite scenes of that movie was the, the like, freestyle at lunch exhibit <laughs> in Eminem. I really love that scene. And when they were, like, freestyling in the parking lot, I really love that scene. And of course the the final battle. Not the final battle, but the, the rap battle. All three. All three rounds were great. And Get Rich or Die Trying. When I first watched that movie, I was like in high school. 
what I can remember about Give It To Die Trying was the soundtrack. I really love the singles that came out from that song, like Hustlers, Ambition, and um, Window Shoppers, and I Whipped Your Head, boy. <laughs> yeah, the, I really love the, the music that came out of that out of that movie but the movie itself it had a solid plot it was it was it was a cool cool plot um i thought 50 cents acting was eh, mediocre kind of it was it was okay but then i grew to liking his acting i'm going to be real I didn't really care for this movie when I was in high school. I didn't really care about the movie at all when I was in high school. Like the music was great, but once I grew into an adult and I watched it again as an adult, I thought the movie wasn't that bad. It's actually pretty good to be honest. Um, like I said, 50 Cent's acting, well that's his first acting role starring role his acting was it was, it was it was solid mediocre kind of but it was, it was solid i grew into it but get rich or die trying it's actually a good movie i i gave it a chance once i was a got into an adult but i prefer eight mile over get rich or die trying eight mile from beginning to end I mean, it, was perfect. it was just perfect. I love the plot to the story. I love the music. Eight Mile took place in the 90s. I believe Get Rich or Die Trying took place in the 90s, maybe 2000. If I'm, if I'm mistaken. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what um, where did Get Rich or Die Trying took place. But yeah, 8 Mile to me was a better movie than Get Rich or Die Trying. Get Rich or Die Trying had like slow moments. But Get Rich or Die Trying was it, was, it was a solid movie. 8 Mile was damn near perfect to be honest. Like come on, 8 Mile had one of the best songs of the 2000s. Snap back to reality, oh, it goes back. Rose Rabbit, oh, choke. I know I messed up the song, but still, A Mile had one of the best like soundtracks of the 2000s. One of the best songs of the 2000s. And Get Rich or Die Trying had a great soundtrack as well, but it's not being A Mile. I'm I'm just being honest. And as far as Eminem and 50 Cent, two superstars I really like. I really like Slim Shady Eminem, like Marshall Mathers LP, Slim Shady LP, Eminem Show, Eminem. And as far as 50 Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying is like his best album from his category. Massacre is alright. And after that, I don't know what happened to 50 Cent, but 50 Cent as a businessman, um, I really love that he does his television work, television production, and he also does his music as well. But if I had to compare, if I had to give 8 Mile and Get Rich or die trying a rating, I would give 8 Mile a 10. Yes, I'm gonna, yeah, 8 Mile gets a 10 for me, and Get Rich or Die Trying gets a solid 7.5, 8. 8 Mile, yeah, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen 8 Mile, go, go check it out. And go check out Get Rich or Die Trying. Go, it has a solid, it has a solid plot storyline. And the last thing, these two movies had a solid cast, man. 
8 Mile, you had Eminem, Brittany Markey, you had Anthony Mackie, Exhibit, then Get Rich or Die Trying, you had 50 Cent, Terrence Howard, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Joy Bryant that played 50 Cent's girlfriend in a movie, and Bill Duke, who was a menace to society, he was in the movie so there was a, a lot of like great actors and actress in both of these movies and that's all I'm going to say about these two films today yeah man if you've seen 8 Mile or Get Rich or Die Trying let me know down below in the comment section below let me know what you think of Eminem as an artist or as an actor let me know what you think of Curtis Jackson, 50 Cent as an actor or a rapper. Let me know what was your favorite scene from 8 Mile or Get Rich or Die Trying. Who was your favorite characters? What was your favorite scene? Let me know if you love the movies or if you hate it. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Let's talk about it. Yeah, man, if you made it far through this video, I really want to say thank you. Thank you again for taking the time by watching this video. I really appreciate it a lot. Yo, go subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. That is GQ Jamal. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. Check out my reviews. Check out my videos. Like my videos. Share my videos. Leave some comments. Show some love. I really appreciate it if you do. If you have any, any, any shows, movies, cartoons, music videos, random scenes, skits you want me to do or review, react to, drop a comment down below. A closed mouth. Do not get fed if you do not comment. Yo, comment. I would love to do a request. I would love to make a review of your request. Drop them comments, y'all. But really, if you've been watching my videos since episode one, I really want to say thank you. All the new viewers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for watching at least 30 seconds of my videos. If you watched the whole thing, I really appreciate it. If you shared my videos, I really appreciate it. If you liked my videos, I really appreciate it. Like, for real, I'm not just saying it. I'm, I'm being, like, 100% for real. Like, you don't know how much that means when you, like, watch my content. I'm for real. I'm going to keep on dropping content, making these reviews, doing collaborations, doing skits, doing everything, man. I'm going to keep being consistent. Just watch. But until next time, everyone, this is GQTV, and I am your boy, the one and only, yours truly, your girlfriend's. We're going to do that one more time. That's one for the blooper, y'all. I am yours truly, the one and only, your boy, your girlfriend's favorite YouTuber himself. I am GQ Jamal. Until next time, everyone, peace. Go crazy, go crazy on them. I see why they're hitting on you. Go crazy, go crazy on them. I wanna put a